Mr. Today we're working on a club car golf cart and the headlights were not working. So I'm going to show you how to diagnose this. I didn't find any other videos on this. So I figured I'd put this up and let you know what I did anyway. So first thing you want to do is make sure all your wiring is good. I looked underneath here under the lights to make sure all the wiring looked good. Everything looked good. I went in here where the battery compartment is. I followed the wires for the headlight. I looked underneath. They're all encased in this covering here. So they do come out here, a, a, a positive, which is here, and a negative. So everything looked good. I did notice there is one nut missing from that battery, but that shouldn't affect it. So we're going to replace that. So I came to the conclusion that it is the switch. They only work so many times. In and out, in and out. And you can see, see how that nut's loose? Well, over time, that spins. It might end up spinning, spinning to where the wire's actually in the back, which you have to access from underneath, get uh, broken. So that's what I suspect in this, this case. So I kind of spun loose and it spun this around a little bit and then it made a good connection. I'm going to tighten that up real tight. So, and then the lights are working. So sometimes they work, sometimes they didn't on that switch. So that's, that's what made me think it was the switch. And I still believe it's the switch. So I'm going to tighten this up real good. And if that solves the problem, if not, I'm going to replace this switch. I've seen they are available online. They're only about 6 or $7. And to replace this, I'll have a video when I replace it. This nut comes off and it slides through, but you have to get this cap off somehow. i got to see how that works.